Today we're going to talk about how to properly use a scraper. If your scraper is sharpened properly, you should be removing shavings like in the picture. If you're making sawdust instead of shavings, then you need to stop and properly sharpen your scraper. Scrapers come in three thicknesses. Thin, which is very flexible. Medium, which is a little more rigid and thick, which is the stiffest of all. I use the medium the most. There are several ways to sharpen a scraper. The method I'm going to show you here is quick and easy and allows you to get back to work right away. You're going to need a file. The one I show here is actually epoxy to a block of wood to make sure that it stays flat. It's not necessary that the file be glued to a block of wood. You could just use a regular file. Clamp the file in your vise and then take the scraper and file it on the file making sure that you stay at a 90 degree angle to the file. This is very important. You want to file until you fill a burr on the edge of the scraper. You will have two burrs, one on each side of the edge. Once you have a nice burr then you can turn the scraper over and do the other edge. You can also clamp the scraper in the vise and then run the file across the top of it at a 90 degree angle to the edge. Once we have a nice burr on the edge, we need to flatten it and then roll it over to make a nice cutting edge. I use a tool called a burnisher for this. This one has the burnisher at an angle. This helps maintain the correct angle when rolling over the burr to create the cutting edge. Start by dragging the burnisher across the edge of the scraper. This will flatten the burr you created while filing. Then use the burnisher along the front edge of the scraper to roll over a consistent burr. This will be used as the cutting edge. To use the scraper, flex it with your thumbs, find the correct cutting angle, and move it across the wood. The burr functions as a microplane. If you have shavings, then you have sharpened the tool properly and you are using it correctly. To not create low spots on the wood surface, occasionally scrape diagonally. If you don't have a burnishing tool, then the shaft of a screwdriver will also work in a pinch. Use it to flatten the burr that you just created while filing. Then use the shaft like I'm showing here to roll over the burr so that it can be used as a cutting edge. Another way to sharpen a scraper is to grind the edges off the top of it so you have a radius. This helps keep you from catching an edge as you're scraping. When I do this, I file the edge at a 45 degree angle. This creates only one burr on one edge of the side. If you get lazy, you can even use a sander to create the burr on the scraper instead of a file. You can then use your burnishing tool to flatten the burr. When rolling the burr back over, hold your burnishing tool at a slightly larger angle than 45 degrees. Remember, with this type of sharpening, you're only going to have one cutting edge. If you've done everything correctly, you should be able to create some shavings pretty effortlessly when using the scraper.
When the toll gets dull, usually just flattening the burr and rolling it over again will allow you to keep working. It's not necessary to use the file to create a new burr every time. When using the tool, you may experience some heat buildup. A quick fix for this is to place an advertising magnet on the scraper. This keeps it from burning your finger. Now that you know how to sharpen your scraper, you should enjoy using it instead of leaving it in your toolbox.